Hi guys, thanks for checking the video out. Um, I'm back in Exeter now, but I've spent the last few days up in Scotland. I was at the Scottish Golf Show with Callaway, and I uh, was doing some long drive challenges, but um, I also did some clinics and some lessons, and uh, watching, kind of watching people come through the long drive stuff and doing the clinics. I was able to see quite a few people, and maybe people that I don't usually get to see, maybe people that don't necessarily always have lessons. So it was quite interesting, there were two trends that um, were quite apparent, would really hold people back being able to use driver and actually quite solvable. So the two things, the first one was people trying to make like a half swing with driver. I know it feels safe, but trying to keep maximum control and really keeping a tight backswing, you just never never going to hit it very far and like with driver especially and the, think about it people struggle with controlling the shaft length I mean, you always hear people saying well I go over the top but if you make a really short swing here it's even harder in my opinion to actually get the club in behind you because you effectively when you go shorter you're going to actually keep the club a bit steeper so you, people really trying to make these controlled kind of, well I just want consistency, so I just want to keep, keep it in a nice short position and it just really, really makes you struggle. I mean, I'm, I'm in a fade, I've got my XR driver, speed step crown, I mean the, the engineers are doing everything possible to try and make this thing travel through the air as quick as possible so you can hit it as far as you can, but then standing up and only making a half swing, it's just not, not the answer guys. Um, it, if you're struggling with driver, it's so logical to go down that route. Well, I'm going to go half swing. And I'm going to try and keep it really tight, really keep as maximum control. I would argue you've got to lose control to gain control. So if you're somebody that's struggling with driver, try and make a bigger swing. Really make sure that you cock those wrists and then really turn. And you'll see now, even though I'm in a normal position, I'm in such a more shallow position than that shorter swing. So you're going to be able to hit better drives because you can get that shaft in underneath actually release the club. So that was one of the massive things that I saw and it was um, so solvable but it's so logical at the same time. So get, get some comments down below. Are you somebody that struggles with this or struggles with driver and has gone down this route of going well I want maximum control or maybe you're the person who's gone, oh, I'll just, I just hit irons now because they feel safer and, and I, I, can't just, I can't work the driver. Because I would say, if you're that person, try making bigger swings, especially on the driving range, you've got nothing to lose. But make a bigger swing, a bigger turn. Try and actually give yourself a chance to hit some good shots. Get some comments down below. Hope to catch you soon.